I'm looking at my map here. It looks like there's a pond or maybe a lake or something. What the heck is that? I found something. Is this an old cabin? The question is, what am I on top of here? I have no idea. Why is this out here? Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Today, I am out for a stealth camp adventure. And already my plans are all sorts of jacked up. I was going to originally camp a few miles down the road here. I was actually going to park, hike, explore, but everything's just so busy. There's so many people. So I found this little side lot over here. There's an RV up here and a little dog who's flipping out. For some reason, the dog hates my guts. <laughs> you might be able to hear it barking right now, but okay, so I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know where I'm going. That's okay. That might be fun. One thing that I need to address with this trip is water. So I'm looking at my map here. I see that there is a creek over this direction, but it looks like there's a pond or maybe a lake or something. And it shows back over here, there being a road to get to it. So let's cut back around here and let's see if there is a road. If there is, that would be pretty sweet. looking at the map here. So there's an old road here, but unfortunately I see no easy way through this. You can see there just how thick all of that brush is. That's a no go. I might be able to hop the fence again and go around and down and might have some luck. Let's go see. You might be able to see it actually. The road goes right over this way. It's super old, it's overgrown. Yeah, too many briars, there's no getting through it. And unfortunately, the same applies for over here. This is so much fun, folks, it really is. And that's what every single adventure should be. It should be fun. In my opinion, life is all about creating experiences and memories. Maybe you're backpacking Yosemite, or maybe you're stealth camping out in the country. Whew. 
Well, the good news is that the density of the forest is less over here. So I might be able to hop the fence and head off into the woods here. Let's go see. So let's take a look here at my map and let's turn off notification sounds. <laughs> the lake is over this direction and it's about a quarter of a mile away. That's not bad. It's a drop of about 300 feet in elevation. What I want you all to focus on is the person walking through the field with no shirt on. That is something that we will have to contend with if we decide to camp out here. Now the good thing is, the trail swivels to the right and goes down below this clearing. That does not deter me from camping in this location because the odds are of someone coming over this way are very remote, especially as it gets later. Now of course, we will follow the stealth camping rules. We will not set up until it's almost dark. Up here, on top of the hill, it's looking beautiful. There might be a view up here. You know how I feel about good views. That is beautiful. The leaves are changing colors. Views for days. It's amazing. Now folks, let me tell you all a little bit more about this trip. There's a reason why I'm back out here, and that's because I found something on the satellite imagery in this area that I wanna see. I am further away from it than I initially planned, but that's okay, we can make our way to it tomorrow. This is something that I do, oftentimes with areas that I like to explore. I will take a look at the satellite imagery and see if I could find anything unusual. If I do, I go check it out. Well folks, I found something strange. A few miles away from here, in the middle of the forest, I have found something that looks like solar panels. What makes this so strange is that there's no houses, no buildings, there's nothing out there. But in the middle of the forest, there are some solar panels and I have no idea why that would be. So with this trip, we are out to stealth camp and we're out to find out what that is. I have looked at the maps very carefully. It's not on private land, it's all federal land, park land. For some reason, in the middle of nowhere, there are some solar panels. Together, we will find out what that's all about. I have the upgrade blend here. That means after I drink this, watch out world, taster's nasty mixed with something else. It's a dangerous combination. I believe it's outlawed in like 48 states, something like that. Anyways, talking about adventure for a second. I mentioned this previously. I wanna fill my life with adventures because in my opinion, that's what life is all about. And there are some real world benefits to going out to having adventures just like this. One of the biggest benefits to having adventures like this is that you learn to expect absolutely nothing because everything is constantly in motion, things change. There's so many influences. You have the weather, you have other people, you have animals, and so on. You could take the lessons that you learn in the wild and you can use those in your daily life. 
In many ways, it will force you, it will teach you to have an open mind. Without even knowing it, you will raise your ability to tolerate uncertainty and to learn to cope with unplanned situations. And there is a huge benefit to that, there really is. Let's go looking for that pond or whatever it is. Ah, this is not going to be easy, that's for certain. Hmm. You all can't tell, but that's about a six foot drop right there. Very thick, very dense. While I was having coffee, I was just sitting there thinking, I have to go see this pond or lake or whatever it is. Now, of course, I do not recommend going off trail unless you're capable of doing so. This is getting harder and harder to navigate. This is basically what I'm walking through, folks. I have found some water here. I will come back to this in just a little bit. It shows here that I'm almost to the road. Ah, okay, there is the road. I see it. God, this is weird. This is the end of the road. It goes this way, connects to another one, and there should be a pond in there somewhere. Check out this culvert. That's fairly nice, folks. All of this rock work. Then it comes out on this side. This has been paved. This is a paved road. The pavement ended, and now I'm just off trail here. What the heck is that? I found something. Wow, this is weird. Let's see if I can get down there. What is this? Is this an old cabin? <laughs> Folks, this is cool. 
This is cool. Wow. This is not what I expected to find with this trip. Not at all. Whoa, is it a dam? This is not a cabin. This used to be a dam, and this was some sort of control structure. Whoa. Before I go in there, let's check this out. The wall of the dam began here. It went down and connected to this that is what remains folks you could tell that this used to be underwater and we have some sort of metal something down here All sorts of different panels over here. I can't quite tell exactly what this is though or what this once did. What's amazing is how well preserved it is. Nobody's been in here, nobody's been tearing things up. There's bottles, old gauges, all sorts of iron, no graffiti. We have an old fire extinguisher. You can see how this would move we have the belts here that would spin it. We have all of these valves and we have pipes underneath here going to the outside. On this side, we basically have the same thing except we have an engine over here. That's the fuel cap. I believe that says Continental Power Unit. So there's a jawbone right there. Looks like from a deer. I don't have a clue how the deer got in here though. So everyone, I'm back on the road again. It is simply too overgrown to go out this way. I will have to go back the way that I came in, through the woods. I was hoping I could just take the road, but no, that's not going to work. I shut the building up and I left it exactly the way I found it. Whenever I get to cell phone service, I'll do a little bit of searching and see if I can find some information about that. My map only showed the pond, which there is no longer a pond. That's because of a flood.
Folks, that was awesome. What an awesome find in the forest. I can't believe it. This goes without saying, everyone, if you're not good with navigation, do not go off trail, please. You do not want to get lost. You do not want to have any problems. Down there at that reservoir, I had no cell phone service and making my way back out of there was not easy. The forest here is so dense that it was quite the chore. So even making my way back following the map, it was not easy, so. Make sure to hone your skills before going off and doing something like this because it can be potentially dangerous. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. Anyways, folks, I'm back out here at the field. The sun will be down fairly soon, so oh, about 45 minutes. I need to get dinner going, I suppose. Once it gets a little bit darker, I will go ahead and set up camp. My plan is to get up early. Maybe, I don't know. I might get up around four o'clock, break down camp, hike out of here, and hike to one of the ridges over here to the left. Once I get over there, I will have an excellent view of the sky for the sunrise. Once the sun comes up, I'll hit the trail, and we will hike a handful of miles and make our way to that mysterious spot in the woods. We'll see what's out there. So what I have here is wild boar bacon bean stew from Stowaway Gourmet. Oh man. The sun's going down, it's getting colder. I'm just hiding in this hollow here. Here in a little bit, I will go ahead, set up my tent and call it a night. Four o'clock comes early, so. I am starving. <laughs> I didn't realize it until now, but uh, I'm done talking to you all. I want to eat. When I came into this area today, I was a little bit disappointed by how busy it was, but with a little bit of work, I came up with one awesome adventure. I had no idea today that we would find that old dam, that water reservoir. That's so cool. Not sure if you all can see it, but there's my tent. It's about to disappear. This afternoon really has been amazing. I've had a great time in the woods, off trail, finding the dam. This is such a nice place, it really is. Look at that full moon, it's amazing. Now it's time to call it a night. Gotta make my way back to the tent. By the way, it's pitch black out here. The camera, makes it look nice and bright, but it's not. I mean, check this out, okay? So I will show you all what it's really like. Wrong way, so check this out. <laughs> How's that? There's the moon. But this camera is crazy. So check that out. <laughs> so let's go to the tent. I do have a headlamp. It's inside of the tent. Luckily, I don't mind hiking in the dark. I'll turn up the ISO so you all can see the tent. That is the Sierra Designs High Side One. It's a one person tent, ugly as hell, but that's okay. It'll work good for this trip. All right. Now that I'm inside of the tent, it's time to say goodbye. Lights out, that's one of the rules. But um, good night for now. I will see you all at four o'clock in the morning. <sighs> Bye everybody.
Yeah, all right. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Four thirty has arrived. It is really, really windy. Temperature around forty four degrees. Extremely windy. First things first, I'm going to get the stove going. It's time for some coffee. Everything else I will figure out in due time. As for last night, I slept great. And I fell asleep around nine o'clock, something like that. So now I'm awake, I'm feeling good. I'm ready to get up, ready to explore. I'm looking forward to uh, heading into the woods. I want to find whatever that thing is on the satellite imagery. It's strange looking. It's blue. It's just, I, yeah, I don't know. It's like a clearing in the forest with something blue there. And uh, I mean, it's just out in the middle of nowhere. It caught my attention. It could be something, it might be nothing. Who knows, right? Who knows? Cheers, everyone, cheers. Oh yeah, that's good. In fact, I think I'll make it a little bit stronger. Give me a boost. I do like it nasty, after all, so. <laughs> Talking about nasty, it's a nasty morning. It's uh, pretty windy and chilly out there. I think what I'm going to do is just continue on with the plan. I'll break down camp. I'll start hiking, get up on top of the mountain there, and then basically decide what I'm going to do from that point. I may sit up there, watch the sunrise, or I might just decide to push on. Hiking distance wise, it's about five miles from here to the place I want to go. So, well, I definitely have some distance to cover. Breakfast this morning, Nutrigrain bar, apple cinnamon. The guy at the grocery store must have stepped on this. Must have stepped on the entire box because every single one is just smashed all to hell. I guess I should finish up the coffee, breakfast, pack up and not waste too much of my power here. Uh, it's about two hours before sunrise. All right, folks, I'm all packed up, basically ready to rock and roll. I'm not sure about the time at the moment. I'll check here in a second. What I do know for certain it's windy. <laughs> it's chilly. And I am glad to be out here. This has been an excellent trip so far. It really has been. There's absolutely nothing like hiking at nighttime. Only by the moonlight and a red light too. <laughs> I'm going to go over the hill here, get onto the hiking trail. Then I will follow that for about a mile up onto this ridge. And the ridge is right over here. That is the ridge right there. That is where we are headed right now, folks.
Last night, incredibly peaceful, nice and quiet. No coyotes, nothing. I'm at the point now where it doesn't matter if I have a light on or not. As you all can hear, it is insanely windy. It's funny. There's a sign here that says, do not disturb the copperheads. <laughs> That's always disturbing. Copperheads are venomous, meaning that they carry a toxin that is dangerous or deadly, and they have been seen in this area. With all of the rocks in this area, it's not surprising at all that there's copperheads out here. That should be expected. I love the red in the sky at first light. There's nothing like it. has been one windy, cold morning. Hiking over the balds, through fields. While miserable, it has been fun at the same time. Looking at the map here, we are right around the corner. What I was looking at on the imagery should be right up here. Hmm, okay. We're almost there. But I've come across something. But what is it exactly? So check this out, everyone. We have a gigantic concrete box or foundation, maybe. What is this? So, the question is, what am I on top of here? I'm not really sure. My initial thoughts are some sort of water containment area, but this is too big for a spring box. And why would there be one here? We are out in the middle of nowhere, so... These lids are locked. They're made from stainless steel. That's not like bunker quality. But the, uh, the concrete foundation on this is huge. It goes from there to right there, all the way down about 20, 30 feet. That is strange, everyone. Comment down below, folks. Tell me, what is this? Because I have no idea. Let's walk over here. Let's get to whatever we saw on the radar. That is not what I've seen, but we are right next to what I did. Yeah, this is weird. The plot thickens, folks. We have solar panels. This one's quite a bit older than this here. That's newer. 
very substantial actually whoever put that in did a pretty poor job those panels are not secure very well in fact some are shifted out of place i have no idea why is this out here this area right here has been bulldozed everything's been pushed to the side so this is the clearing this is what i saw on the imagery but there's nothing else out here make sure to comment down below everyone what is going on here i wouldn't think that would be some sort of bunker not with a stainless steel lid like that but in the end everyone i do not know make sure to comment down below folks that wraps up this adventure thank you all very much for joining me for this trip this has been incredibly awesome very fun grueling at the same time make sure to hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel everyone take care be well strength and honor i will see you all next week bye for now